might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Hi everyone, I'm Ray from Southern Country Living. And I'm Calvin, and today we're going to be preparing a meal that we saw Mandy over at Mandy and the Making do. And we really enjoyed uh, watching her make this meal. It looked good and we thought it looked uh, like something we'd like to try. So we actually made this meal about a week ago, and it turned out really good. So we're going to do it on camera today. And I'm going to be helping with Marie make this meal. She's going to do most of it, but I'll be helping her just a little bit. Okay, is that all right, Marie? <laughs> Not really. He's going to be doing <laughs> most of it, and I'm going to be helping him. Anyway, we're going to work together on it. But what we're making, uh, going to be making a brown rice recipe. And Mandy said that her mother made this and that her mother had got it from her grandmother and said they really enjoyed it. And it was different than anything we've ever tried. So we tried it and we liked it. So we're going to share it. And then the chicken is called garlic lemon chicken. And when we made it last week, we used chicken breast. But today we're going to be using uh, boneless chicken thighs. And I believe that's what Mandy used on her recipe. But we're going to get started on this. It takes about an hour to cook it. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And if you will, just be sure and give us a thumbs up and comment and uh, subscribe if you've not already subscribed. Okay, we're going to get started. Marie, I'm going to let you start first with uh, mixing up the rice and get it in the oven, okay? Okay, and I'll be using beef broth because Walmart's doesn't have that beef. Consomme. Consomme. <laughs> yeah. And so I'll be using uh, French onion soup and uh, one cup of rice. So okay. let me get my rice washed and get started. All right, I have my uh, rice rinsed. So I'm gonna add it to my eight by eight pan. This is a real simple rice recipe, but it's really good. Okay, now then I'm going to pour in about 10 ounces of beef broth. And my French onion soup mix. put this in the oven and cook it at 350 degrees for about uh, 50 to 60 minutes covered with the aluminum foil. Okay, our rice likes about 15 minutes being finished cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the chicken thighs. First thing I'm gonna do is just put a little salt and pepper on them. And when, when I did this last time, I just put it on one side and it worked fine. Okay, and here I've got some, uh, there's paprika, garlic powder, and red pepper flakes. And I'm just gonna mix this all together. Okay, then I'm gonna just sprinkle it all over the top of the chicken thighs. It makes a real good seasoning. And while I'm doing this, Marie's over there, she's making us some green beans. We're gonna have uh, green beans to go with this meal today. Okay. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle it all on there. Okay, I've got all my seasoning on my chicken, and I'm gonna go ahead and I've washed my hands and cleaned up. So I'm gonna put the chicken in the uh, skillet. And I'm gonna let these uh, cook for about two or three minutes on each side before I take them out of the skillet. While they're cooking, I'm gonna go over here and I'll wash this plate out so I can take them out and put them in the plate when it gets there. Those chicken thighs really smell good with that season, seasoning on cooking, Marie. I know, it really does. Okay, my chicken's been cooking, I think, long enough. I'll take it out and put it in a, pan, a plate for just a few minutes. That looks good right there, but it's not done yet. Okay, I'm going to add uh, three tablespoons of butter. Okay, let it start melting. I'm going to put, this is about half of a very small onion. Last time I made this, we put a little bit too much onion in there, and it was good, but I think I will like it a little better with less onion. Let's just start sauteing. And thank you, Marie. <laughs> Marie turned the timer off. It's over there beeping away. Okay, that's looking good. And one thing I like about using this skillet, uh, it's pretty much non-stick, so you don't have to worry about scraping the bottom off. Uh, when Mandy made it, she cooked hers in an instant pot. And so what we did, we changed the recipe around just a little bit so that I could cook it in a skillet. That looks real good right there. Let them saute for another minute, get them good and tender, and then I'll add my garlic into it. And Marie does have the green beans cooking over here. They're almost done. Uh, I can't turn the camera over there to them, but... Let me pick them up and just show you real quick how the green beans are looking. Uh, she's got bacon grease and garlic. And what else did you put in the green beans, Marie? Brown sugar. Oh yeah, and brown sugar. Secret ingredient. And uh, chicken bouillon cubes. And chicken bouillon cubes. Okay, I think these onions are ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic to it. This is about four tablespoons of um, minced garlic. Let that settle in there for about a minute now. Yeah, I like it when you add the garlic to it. It really puts the flavor in there. Okay, next thing I'm gonna add, this is the uh, juice from a lemon that Marie squeezed out for me. And I'm also gonna add this is a uh, chicken broth, and this is about one-third cup of chicken broth. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to it. And let it start heating up a little bit. Let 
next I'm going to add, this is the lemon zest from a lemon. And try to get every bit of that in there. That was one thing I liked about this recipe was uh, that lemon really gave that chicken a good flavor. And I really enjoyed that. Okay, next thing I'm going to add, this is two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And if you don't like a lot of Italian seasoning, you could add a little bit less. Okay, that's looking good. So. The next step, we're going to take the chicken that we took out and put in the plate, and I'm going to put this chicken back into the pan. Okay. Get them centered in there real good. A little bit of juice there from the seasoning. I'm going to let that go in there too. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the lid and cover it. And we're going to let it sit here and simmer for about seven minutes with the lid on. And I see the steam has already steamed up the pan real quick. So let me set my timer for seven minutes. And we'll be back with you as soon as this gets to uh, cooking okay, for seven right. minutes. It's done. The green beans are almost done. And the chicken's fixing to be done here in just a minute. Okay. I'm going to try to take this lid off without getting steam all into my camera. Let me let some of it escape. Okay. Chicken's looking good. Okay, what I'm going to do now is take the chicken out, put it in this plate. This is the same plate I used a few minutes ago, but we did wash it. Okay, let me set that to the side for a minute. Okay, I'm going to add just a, about two tablespoons. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, it's heavy whipping cream. I'm going to add two tablespoons of that. Okay. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. And this is uh, one tablespoon of uh, cornstarch mixed with some water. And I'm going to add this to it to help thicken up the uh, salts in here. Okay, that looks good. Let me stir this up. Okay. okay, I'm going to actually turn the heat off now. That made a good thick salt for it. That sauce looks real good, don't it, Marie? I don't really know. You want to put that chicken back in there for me, Marie? Okay. I'll keep it steered. Yeah, just go ahead and pour the juice in there. I always use all the juice. Makes it good. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do, let me get a spoon so I can scoop some of that juice up and the gravy and the sauces and just put it right on top of the chicken.
that salts is what when we had it last time, to me the salts was the best part of it. I know it was a really good dish. And okay. that rice helps set it all off too. It did, didn't it? Okay, let me, I'm gonna put the lid back on it for just a minute. It's ready to serve right now, but it's gonna take us a minute to get set up to serve it. So I'm gonna put the lid back on it. Just, just to keep it good and hot until we start serving. Okay, our meal has just got uh, done. So I'm gonna uh, plate us up some rice and garlic lemon chicken. how it looks right there. Okay, I'm gonna put some green beans on my plate. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do a taste test now. Last time we did it with chicken breast, so we'll see how I like it with the chicken thigh. <laughs> mm. That is really good. All those flavor, different flavors are so good. The lemon, the garlic, the Italian seasoning. It's just delicious. <laughs> That's the reason why we made it again. <laughs> I'll go ahead and taste my green beans too. Mm. They're good too. <laughs> uh, Kevin, why don't you come over here and do the taste test too? <laughs> well, I've already had it one time, so I know it's good. <laughs> mm. I know I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna try the rice first just by itself. Mm, I love how that rice tastes, and I know the chicken's going to be good. The chicken's got all that lemon flavor to it. Mm. I really love that uh, chicken. Mm. I don't want to tilt my plate up too much. It might all slide off. That would be bad, wouldn't it, Marie? Yeah, it might be. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> those green beans are good too, Marie. Thank you, Callan. Mm. Okay, Marie. Now, this is our second time making this meal. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, and, and we'll so, be making it again too. <laughs> yes. So, we're going to thank uh, Mandy at Mandy in the Making for sharing her recipe. And so now we're sharing it with all of our friends and subscribers. And if you try it, let us know how you liked it. I think you're going to really enjoy this meal. We will leave a link to uh, Mandy's channel in the description below. So everyone, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you on our next video. And y'all do what you love and love what you do. Bye. See you in the next video.